Hi folks, how's it going? Um, another update, um, just uh, what's been happening on the painting table this past couple of weeks. Um, it's been fairly quiet, um, just kind of doing, doing bits and bobs. Um, I've done, uh, just quick show you them, more T64s, building them up. Get started and get the hang of them. So I've done built up 10 and I've got uh, another another 5 to do so that'll be give us 15 of these so I'll be probably next on the paint table yeah, I'll snap it together so the turret looks a bit better but yeah quite good these are from Battlefront and um, yeah they go well together some nice kits for Battlefront so that's that and as you can see in front of us is my first napoleonic unit i've done in years i used to have napoleonics a long time ago but i got rid of them and these are the latest ones see if we can get that focus there we go these are from warlord um come out quite well just a wash basic block painting quite enjoyed these so first unit but that's going to be a slow project because i've got a few to finish off sapper he's he's from the elite company from perry's bit out of period but oh, he does the business quite enjoyed painting him goes to well together the kit's quite nice so and then you get this i got the Napoleonic army starter set from Warlord, so you get some metals with it, and that's the metal officer. He comes with it. So, yeah, these are alright. So, quite enjoying them. I like these because all you have to do is basically put the backpack on, um, backpack, and the head, and that's it. So, uh, I managed to also paint. Um, some more stuff for the sedan these are just drying at the minute these are old foundry indie mutiny stuff but i think they'll be fine for the sedan so painted up another unit there we just got to base them up gave them some of them i guess in focus mm -hmm. there we go red turban sorry it's a bit shiny because Vanish is drying at the minute. I'll just finish them off. Red turban just for a bit of contrast. So that'll add another unit, either for when I eventually get rid of the engine unit I've got at the minute. Or um as I say, an extra just another unit to add in for the Sudan. But yeah, they came out alright. Um I say they had some Shields left over, so I've just done the shields, stuck on a shield. So that's them. That's what that is at the minute. I'm also cleaning off some bashy bazooks, as you see, I think, uh, for the Sudan as well. I think I'll maybe paint them next, but I've already got uh, some Napoleonics ready to go. As well, uh, in the post this week, I got um, some uh, more Teen Yankee stuff. Uh, I, can't, I don't know want to move the camera because it's quite steady, but basically, I got A10 Warthogs, um, I got they didn't have any shulkers, but I got the Israeli set, so if you can see that. The, the best camera Wait a minute, I'm going to pull it out so you can see it guys, sorry about the shaky cam so I've got a couple of shell kits, these are quite good kits but these are resin um, what else coming through the post T55s so I was leaning over on it, some of them so I might get another box then, they're quite nice actually I think there are older sex in the bigger box. And then these I've always wanted to get some luch 
I think it's links in it. Is that what you say in German? Not too sure. But these are really nice as well. But these are resin as well. So um, quite heavy. <laughs> Uh, resin and metal parts and the wheels are resin ah, sorry the wheels are metal and you've got to stick them on individually so if you're thinking of getting a set of these watch out for that okay um that's about it guys um so as i say i think the bash of bazooks are on the painted table next just get one last white pack these guys got another game tomorrow so hope everybody's back war gaming after the long lockdown and um well hopefully everybody has a good weekend and i'll see you later guys cheers